The word love is used four times in this next promise. Promise five. I think this may be a way for me to get it through my head that I am so worth it, that I matter to the millionth degree and no person or experience can cancel that truth. So let's get into the mode that this is the absolute truth. And before I read Promise 5, I'm going to give myself a big old hug. And you're more than welcome to join me whether or not it feels right or wrong. Repeat after me. I know a new love and acceptance of myself and others. I feel genuinely lovable, loving, and loved. Now let's take this opportunity to get cozy. You can surround yourself with pillows and blankets. Or if you're seated, you can uh, make sure that your back is supported and that your feet are firmly on the ground. You can rub up against the floor. Close your eyes. Let out any excess air. Breathe in for one, two, three, four. Hold for one, two, three, four, five. Release one, two, three, four, five, six. Breathe in one, two, three, four, hold, one, two, three, four, five, release, one, two, three, four, five, six. Scrunch up your shoulders and roll them back a few times. You can now return to your regular breathing pattern. I know a new love and acceptance of myself and others. To know means to have developed a relationship with someone through meeting and spending time with them by being familiar or friendly with. New, not existing before discovered recently or now for the first time. Love, strong or constant affection, a deep tender feeling of affection for or attachment or devotion to a person or persons. Acceptance, the action or process of being received as adequate or suitable affirmation. Myself, I or me personally. Others, a person or thing that is different or distinct from one already mentioned or known about. So the first half of Promise 5 is encouraging me to spend time with myself intentional time with myself and intentional time with others and others includes friends, family, coda buddies, fur and feathered babies, and our higher power. And I'm getting the idea that if I spend intentional time with myself and getting to know me, then I may just fall in love with myself in a healthy way and by filling up my cup I'll be able to share that love with others. I'll be able to be of service, be a healthier friend or a partner or mother, daughter, etc. It's no secret, I am an addict too. I have struggled 
uh, since I was five to love myself. And I fell into the idea of being other focused too much and not being affectionate and caring towards myself. I know firsthand what it looks like to not spend time with myself and getting to know myself and what it's like to isolate away from others. For example, it looks like avoiding how I feel or avoiding my to-do list or avoiding moments to be still. Um, It's sort of like I'm rejecting me. And I do believe that By doing this to myself, I'm also rejecting others to a degree. Now maybe let's take a moment to, if it's possible, to remember um, ourselves at a younger age. Pick any age. I'm going to pick five years old for me. And I'm imagining being little and crying wanting to be picked up, that five-year-old wants to be known, seen, held, heard. I obviously didn't know how to do that at the time, but that five-year-old me is still in here, and I know she hears this promise. And I'm so grateful that I get to provide this love to her now. Now, just a gentle reminder of what others means. A person different or distinct from me. And I know this can be tricky because I am a recovering codependent. And because I'm an addict, I can't help but be focused on what others think, feel, and or do. So I work this program because now I know that it's unhealthy. And I ask my higher power for help. I'll meditate, take a couple deep breaths, read, do outreach when and if I'm not sure what the next right step is, or just do nothing for now. Take in a couple deep breaths on your own. feel genuinely lovable, loving, and loved. Feel, experience an emotion, an act of touching something to examine it. Genuinely, in a truthful way, to the fullest degree. lovable, inspiring or deserving love or affection, loving, feeling or showing love or great care, loved, feel deep affection for, delight in, enjoy very much. In other words, I experience an emotion to the fullest degree, that of inspiration, great care, and joy of myself and others. If this is a challenge to accept, I wanted to share a reminder of the definition of the word promise which means a declaration or assurance that a particular thing will happen. And I'm declaring for myself and assuring myself that it will happen. Now repeat after me. I know a new love, an acceptance of myself and others. 
I feel genuinely lovable, loving, and loved. I know a new love, an acceptance of myself and others. I feel genuinely lovable, loving, and loved. One more time. I know a new love and acceptance of myself and others. I feel genuinely lovable, loving, and loved. I'm going to give myself another big old hug. So my friends, this Promise 5 meditation is coming to an end. The next meditation video will be on Promise 6. I learn to see myself as equal to others. My new and renewed relationships are all with equal partners. Now let's recite the we version of the serenity prayer. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Keep coming back. It works if you work it, so work it because you're worth it. See you next time.